This is the Sakar Merli of the 14th of February, 2024. Essence. Sweet children become introverted and think about benefiting yourselves. When you go on tour, sit in solitude and churn the ocean of knowledge. Ask yourself, do I remain constantly cheerful? Question. In which respect should you children of the merciful Father have mercy for yourselves? Answer. Just as the Father has mercy in wanting his children to change from thorns into flowers, and he makes so much effort to make you children beautiful, so you children too should feel mercy for yourselves. You call out to Baba, O purifier, come and make us into flowers. He has now come. And so will you not become flowers? If you have mercy for yourselves, you will remain soul conscious and imbibe everything that the Father tells you. Om Shanti You children understand that that one is the Father, the teacher and also the Sat Guru. So the Father asks you children, when you come here, do you look at those pictures of Lakshmi and Narayan and the ladder? When you look at those two, you see your aim and objective. The whole cycle of how you became deities and then continue to come down this ladder enters your intellects. Only you children receive this knowledge. You are students. Your aim and objective is in front of you. When anyone comes, explain to him that this is your aim and objective. Through this study, you become deities. Then you come down the ladder of 84 births and you then have to repeat it. This knowledge is very easy but in spite of that, why do people fail as they move along? This godly study is absolutely easy compared to a worldly study. Your aim and objective and the cycle of 84 births are right in front of you. Both these pictures should also be put up in the visitor's room. You also need materials for service in order to do service. All knowledge is included in these. We are making effort at this time. We have to make a lot of effort to become Satopratan. You have to become introverted and churn the ocean of knowledge. When you go on tour, this is what you should have in your intellects. Baba knows that this is number-wise. Some understand this very well, and so they must definitely be making effort for their own benefit. Each student understands that so-and-so is studying well. If you do not study, you cause yourself a loss. You should make yourselves worthy to some extent. You are also students of the unlimited Father. This Brahma is also studying. That Lakshmi and Narayan is the status and the ladder is the cycle of 84 births. That is the first number birth and this is the last number birth. You are becoming deities. When people come in, explain to them the pictures of your aim and objective and the ladder. Come and sit in front of these every day and you will remember this. You have it in your intellects 
that the unlimited Father is explaining to you. You have the full knowledge of the whole cycle and so you should remain very cheerful. Ask yourself, why am I not able to maintain that stage? What is the reason that there is a problem in remaining cheerful? Those who create these pictures would have it in their intellects that that is their future status, that it is their aim and objective, and that it is a cycle of 84 births. It is remembered that this is easy Raj Yoga. Baba continues to explain to you every day, you are the children of the unlimited father and so you would surely claim the inheritance of heaven. And because the secrets of the whole cycle have been explained to you, you should definitely remember them. You also need good manners when speaking to people. Your behaviour has to be very good. While moving along and doing all your work, it should remain in your intellect that you have come to the Father to study. You just have to take this knowledge with you. The study is easy. If students don't study well, their teacher would think that there are many dull children in his class, that his name will be defamed and that he won't receive a prize. The government will not give him anything either. This too is a school. Here there is no question of receiving a prize, etc. Nevertheless, you are inspired to make effort. You have to reform your behaviour and imbibe divine virtues. And you also have to have a good character. The Father has come to benefit you but you are unable to follow the Father's Srimat. If you are given Srimat to go somewhere and you don't go there, you would say, it is hot there, or it is cold there. You don't recognise the fact that it is the Father who is telling you to do that. You only have this ordinary chariot in your intellects. The Father doesn't enter your intellect at all. Everyone is very much afraid of the big kings. They have great authority. Here the Father says, I am the Lord of the poor. No one knows me, the Creator, or the beginning, middle or end of creation. There are so many people. Look at what they talk about. They don't even know who God is. It is a wonder. The Father says, I enter an ordinary body and give you the introduction of myself and the beginning, middle and end of creation. This ladder of 84 births is so clear. The Father says, I made you into that and I am now making you that once again. You had divine intellects. So who then made you into those with stone intellects? For half a cycle, you have continued to fall in the kingdom of Ravan. You now definitely have to become Satopratan from Tamopratan. Your conscience also says that the Father is the truth. He will definitely only tell you the truth. This Brahma is studying, and you are also studying. He says, I am also a student, and I too pay attention to this study. I have not yet reached the accurate karmatic stage. Who would not pay attention to such a study to claim such a high status? Everyone would say we should definitely claim such a status. 
We are the children of the Father, and so we should definitely be the masters. However, there is always an up and a down in studying. You have now received the very essence of knowledge. In the beginning there was only old knowledge. Gradually you continued to understand. You now understand that it is only now that you can truly receive knowledge. The Father also says, Today I am telling you the deepest things of all. No one can receive liberation in life instantly. They cannot take all the knowledge at once. Earlier you didn't have this picture of the ladder. You now understand that you truly go around the cycle in that way. We are the spinners of the discus of self-realization. Baba has explained to us souls the secret of the whole cycle. The Father says, Your religion is one that gives a lot of happiness. The Father himself comes and makes you into the masters of heaven. The time of happiness for others is now, when death is just ahead. Aeroplanes, electricity, etc. did not exist previously. For those people, it is as though it is heaven now. They build so many big palaces. They think that they have a lot of happiness now. They are able to go to London so quickly. They consider this to be heaven. Someone has to explain to them that the golden age is called heaven. The iron age would not be called heaven. If someone sheds his body in hell, he would certainly also take rebirth in hell. Previously, you too didn't understand these things. You can understand them now. When the kingdom of Ravan begins, we begin to fall, and we then have all the vices. You have now received all of this knowledge, so your behaviour, etc. should be very royal. You are even more valuable now than when you are in the golden age. The Father, who is the ocean of knowledge, gives you all of this knowledge at this time. No human being can understand knowledge and devotion. They have mixed up the two. They think that reading the scriptures is knowledge and that worshipping is devotion. So the Father is now making so much effort to make you beautiful. You children should also feel mercy because you call out to Baba to come and make the impure ones pure and into flowers. The Father has now come and so you should have mercy for yourselves. Can we not become such flowers? Why have we not yet climbed onto Baba's heart throne? You don't pay attention. The Father is so merciful. You call out to the Father to come into the impure world and make you pure. Therefore, just as the Father feels mercy, so you children should also feel mercy. Otherwise, those who defame the Satguru cannot claim a high status. No one would have ever dreamt about who the Satguru is. People believe that their Guru might curse them and there would be a loss. When they have a child, they believe that that was due to the blessing of their Guru. That is a matter of temporary happiness. The father says, children, now have mercy for yourselves. Become soul conscious and you will also be able to imbibe. It is souls that do everything. I am teaching you souls. Also consider yourselves to be souls. Make this firm 
and remember the Father too. If you don't remember the Father, how would your sins be absolved? People on the path of devotion also remember him. O oh God, have mercy. The Father is the liberator and also the guide. This is also his incognito praise. The Father comes and tells you everything. You used to remember me on the path of devotion. When I come, I definitely have to come at my own time. It is not that I come whenever I want. I come when it is fixed in the drama for me to come. However, I do not have such thoughts. It is that father who is teaching you. This one is also studying with him. That one never makes any mistakes or causes sorrow for anyone. All teachers are number wise. That true father is teaching you the truth. The children of the truth are true. Then, by becoming children of the false one, you become false for half a cycle. You even forget the true father. First of all, ask whether this is the golden age new world or the old world. People would then think that you ask very good questions. At this time, there are the five vices in everyone. The five vices don't exist there. This is something very easy to understand. However, if some of you don't understand it, how can you explain at the exhibitions? Instead of doing service, you would come back after doing disservice. To go out and do service is not like going to your auntie's home. Great understanding is required. Baba understands everything from everyone's activities. The father is the father, and the father would then also say this was fixed in the drama. When anyone comes, it is fine for a Brahma Kumari to explain. The very name is Brahma Kumari's Ishwarya Vishwa Videhale. It is the name of the Brahma Kumaris that will be glorified. At this time, all are completely engrossed in the five vices. It is so difficult to go and explain to them. They don't understand anything. They would just say that this knowledge is very good. They don't understand anything themselves. There continues to be obstacle after obstacle. So you then also have to create those tactics. Have the police on security guard and have the pictures insured. This is a sacrificial fire, so there will definitely be obstacles here. The whole of the old world is to be sacrificed into it. Why else would it be called a sacrificial fire? Everything has to be sacrificed into the sacrificial fire. This is called the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. Knowledge is also called a study. This is a pashala, a study place and also a sacrificial fire. You study in a pashala, a study place, and become deities, and then everything will be sacrificed into this sacrificial fire. Only those who continue to practice this every day would be able to explain. If someone doesn't practice this, what would he be able to explain? For some people of the world, it is now heaven for a temporary period. For you, there will be heaven for half a cycle. This drama is predestined. When you think about it, you are amazed by it. 
the kingdom of Ravan is now ending and the kingdom of Rama is now being established. There is no question of a battle in this. When people see a picture of this ladder, they are very amazed at what the father has explained to you. This Brahma has also learnt from the father, and so he continues to explain to others. Daughters also explain. Those who benefit many others will definitely receive more fruit. Those who haven't studied will have to bow down in front of those who have studied. The Father tells you every day, benefit yourselves. When you keep these pictures in front of you, you become intoxicated. This is why Baba has had these pictures put up in the rooms. The aim and objective is so easy. A very good character is needed for this. When your heart is clean, your desires can be fulfilled. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bapdada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. And the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Remain constantly aware that you are students of the unlimited father, that God is teaching you, and that you therefore have to study well and glorify the father's name. Let your behaviour be very royal. 2. Become merciful like the Father and make yourself into a flower from a thorn and others into flowers. Become introverted and think about benefiting yourself and others. Blessing May you be so courageous that in any fluctuation, instead of becoming disheartened, you have a big heart. When you face a physical illness, there are storms in the mind. When there is a financial upheaval or an upheaval in your family or fluctuation in service, Never be disheartened by that upheaval or fluctuation. Become one with a big heart. When karmic accounts come, when there is any pain, do not dwell on it and thereby become disheartened and increase it. But have courage. Do not think, oh what can I do now? Do not lose courage. Be courageous and you will automatically receive the Father's help. Slogan Close your eyes to see anyone's weaknesses and make your mind introverted. Om Shanti